Three, two, one, go. Hello and welcome to the Tottenham America channel. Today we will be reacting to Uruguay's big 2-0 win over Ghana as they scored their first two goals this World Cup courtesy of Georgian de Arasqueta, but it was not enough to send the South Americans through as results elsewhere in the South Korea-Portugal game meant that Uruguay were sent packing their bags going back to South America early from this World Cup um, after such high hopes to succeed at this World Cup, they were out in the group stage thanks to South Korea's late winner. The two goals in this game happened in the first half, but right before that was a big chance for Ghana when Mohamed Kudus was taken down uh, by goalkeeper Roche, and a penalty was issued to Ghana. Andre Ayew took the penalty, but just like what happened 12 years ago, the penalty was missed, uh, but this time it was saved by Roche. And it wasn't a very good penalty at that point, um, but Roche was a, had a comfortable save to make, and he made a good save. And Ghana, for a, yet again, missed a penalty versus Uruguay. 26 minutes in, so four minutes, uh, five minutes later, Georgian de Arsqueta scores his first goal at the World Cup and Uruguay's first goal at this World Cup. Suarez's low shot is saved by Ghana goalkeeper Atizigi. And De Arosqueta is there at the back post to nod it in and give Uruguay the lead. Six minutes later, he gets another. He gets his brace. Suarez puts in a beautiful uh, ball into De Arosqueta's pass and path, and the um, forward just smashes it into the back of the net on the volley. Atizigi with no chance of ever getting close to it. But that was it for the goals this match as Uruguay, up until the 90th minute, were confirmed through to the next stage until South Korea found their winner in their game. Hwang Ki Chan got the winner against Portugal in the 90 plus first minute, meaning that South Korea and Uruguay were tied on points and on goal differential. So it came down to goals scored in which South Korea had scored four and Uruguay scoring two would finish in third. That's how the table finished. And Uruguay were sent home early. Um, Ghana with a not terrible performance, uh, but Uruguay had some real spirit in the, the way that they go went around. Uh, Uruguay's goalkeeper, Rochette, was very good, especially saving that big penalty. Um, but he also had a, a number of other saves to make, four or five that I can recall that were pretty good. Um, so Ghana, Ghana really tested him, but there was no way of them passing the Uruguayan shot stopper. As for Uruguay, they knew what their work was to do today. They had to win by a considerable margin, and they had to hope that South Korea would lose or draw to get through to this next round. Um, and they did their part, but unfortunately, South Korea's results did not align with the South Americans' hopes. And Uruguay went home early. It's basically Luis Suarez's last chance. It's Edinson Cavani's last chance. Um, so there's a number of players that I have that will be going out of the window for um, Uruguay. But there's a number of players that are coming in big for Uruguay, including Rodrigo Bentancur, Valverde, Nunez, Pelistri, Jose Maria Jimenez, who's always been at the back. And has been there for two uh, World Cups now. Sergio Roche, who's looking to be an excellent shop, shot stopper. Um, but they are missing some crucial positions, Uruguay. Um, so they'll hope that they can fix that by the next World Cup. Because a lot of people thought that they could go far here. But after two poor results in the opening games, um, they, they, they are out despite a win in this last match. And it's big news because Uruguay, you know, they were, they were looking to go farther in this World Cup. Um, but they did not. They were not able to. Ghana put out a good performance in this World Cup, undoubtedly. Um, they really put their hearts forward. They played some excellent football. Their result against South Korea, I think, was most impressive. They really fought back, uh, fought for every ball. They scored excellent goals. Mohamed Kudus was looking like an absolute beast. Um, of course, even against Portugal, they showed a tremendous spirit to get back to three two terms uh they just couldn't find that equalizing goal which i think if they did would have helped them a lot in this situation because they were on three points 
um, having that win against South Korea, but nothing else to boost their points. So they finished bottom of the group. Uh, but I, I think if you look at the group only, it wouldn't tell the full story because they did, I think, much better than the group suggests. Uruguay, of course, disappointing. They came in third. Um, I think they should have won against South Korea. They should have done better against Portugal. A lot of their players were not very good that day, save for like Ben Tunker and a couple other uh, midfielders. I think Valverde was fairly good that game. Um, but just not, not, not what you expected from a top team at the World Cup. And we've seen this with a couple teams at the World Cup this year. Um, Belgium are going home early in the in the group stage. We saw Wales bottom of the group. Mexico are out for the first time in 40 years. Denmark finished bottom of the group winless. Germany went home at in third place. Belgium, as I said, um, and Uruguay. So that's a list of teams that have gone out early. But we've also got a list of slight newcomers in the knockout stages. Um, we've got... Uh, teams like Australia, Japan, who were there last year, last time out, but they um they 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 finished top of the group this time. Morocco, who have qualified for the second time in their history, and South Korea, who did not make it out of the group last time out. But this is how Group H finishes after the last ma- last match day. Portugal are in first, having secured their spot last time uh, in match day two against Uruguay. They sit on six points. South Korea clinched a second-place finish on four points. They had zero goal differential, but they got through over Uruguay in third place, who are on same points and same goal differential because the Koreans scored two more goals than the Uruguayans did. And Ghana, despite some spirited performances, finish last. But that is it for our reaction to Uruguay's win versus Ghana, but their shocking exit from the World Cup. If you want to see more World Cup content, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below what you'd want to see uh, if you want to see more World Cup content. And until next time, come on, you Spurs!